All right, guys. So got a kind of good stack of books for show you to you guys, and some of the CDC books towards the end. Um, so let's. Um, I bought multiple copies. I'm just gonna show for only one of uh, books that I picked up. So um, as you know, this right here is something is killing the children. The ink printing. There's a whole gimmick of you have to purchase a foil variant of berserker one with the coupon you have to go at a certain time and you have to order a uh, berserker number two and you'll get a free of this book of this eight printing um there was a lot of hype about this how limited print runs gonna be and blah 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 anyway shorts anyway uh was able to get four copies of this um so it's not as hard as i thought that it would be so kind of Oh well, uh, this FOMO got me once again and uh, was able to yeah, get a copy, which is, I wasn't just going to show you one, but I, I actually got four copies of this. It's a great cover, um, just just to highlight, as you can see, there's a reflection of the monster that she kills. I don't know, it's just a great cover. Um, what more can you say? This is going to be a long hold. Wait until see, this comes on a Netflix or whatever. Anyway, uh, that's that. Next cover is one of my favorite, favorite Star Wars movie of all time is Empire Strikes Back. And when I saw this, it's a movie poster variant. I uh, had to just get it. So I got, I grabbed the two copies. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a great cover. There was another one that has a Yoda on it, but I passed on that. Really love this homage to uh, Empire Strikes Back cover. All right. Next book is a second printing of Batman 106. Uh, I believe this is Federici or something like that. Um, I could be butchering the name, but regardless, it's a great cover. Love the idea that uh, the second printing come, came out with a whole different cover than the than the first issue. Uh, this is the, uh, I believe this is somewhat called cameo appearance of Miracle Molly. Um, I think she has a pretty good legs within the DC continuity. See how the character run, but um, we we'll see what we'll see what happens. But yeah, so I grab about two copies of this. Uh, also, Miles Morales Spider Man issue number twenty five. I believe this is the beginning of this uh, the Clone Saga, or have something that has already started. Not really. I love the cover, not many people uh, digging this, but I just thought that it was pretty cool. Um, I hope they do a better job than what they have done with the amazing Spider-Man run with the Clone Saga. Um, so we'll see what happened. And uh, there's a lot of store variants of this and I'll show you a little bit more down this hall. Um, also one out of 25, Sarah Pacelli. When I pre-ordered this, they didn't have an image I thought it would be a little bit better cover than this, and I was kind of disappointed. Uh, but and, you know, you, you pay twenty dollars for one out of twenty-five below the ratio, uh, whatever. Uh, right now, you can get this for like ten, fifteen at a good day, twenty bucks or whatever. Uh, we'll see how this thing runs. All right, uh, shout out to uh, Tivo, the Lord of the Long Box. He promotes. Uh, I think he kind of be sponsored by KRS Comics and uh, had to jump on this, my Mike Mayhew cover. Um, uh, like I said, I picked up a lot of store variants and uh, hopefully it'll pan out in the long run. But uh, um, I believe this is a homage to the very first Miles Morales Spider-Man. So really cool cover. And there was a version of this, um, just like in the, I believe in the um, movie, I guess somewhat but really cool i think this will go very nicely with my um uh, david finch variant that i picked up earlier uh this is the second printing of uh amazing spider-man 61 where spider-man has a new suit so this is considered as a second printing of the store variant by my uh, was that uh tyler kirkham and along with Amazing Spider-Man number 62, second printing of that homage to Spider-Man 1, Todd McFarlane, my all-time. Uh, so 
you know, if you are an amazing Spider-Man collector, color cover, cover collector, I mean, these two are the most, I guess you can say it, most um, homaged or it can be copied or what, but yeah, really great to grab this second printing. And also, this is the uh, non-stop Spider-Man uh, issue two. I believe this is an unknown comic exclusive. Gabriel Delato just love the way this came out, so I had to pick up a copy. Um, one out of ten, Amazing Spider-Man sixty-two. This is, uh, I think, this is Dustin. Oh, Justin, uh, Dustin Weaver uh, variant. One out of ten. There was a lot of hype about this, but still, it sells for about fifteen to twenty bucks. So. You know, a little over the ratio, so it's not bad. Um, this is the first print of that uh, ASM 62, homage to Spider-Man number one, Big Falling. The Virgin cover at that there. Um, this is a comic exposure uh, exclusive to Vampirella number one, a 500 print run, cover done by Juan Navarro. I think I'm saying his name correctly. Um, so yeah, I just like the simplicity of the black and red and um, yeah, gotta love the cover for these. All right, so I have heard from um, multiple sources that um, maybe Ben Affleck will be doing an Arkham Knight miniseries within the HBO Max. Uh, so this is the first appearance of Batman Arkham Knight uh, this is one of the 10 uh, game variant, uh, game cover variant, but yeah. Um, have two more copies. This is my third copy. It's not in a 90 condition, but just had to get it. Um, you know, it was sitting there for five bucks. Why not pick it up? Um, so it's a long term until long term hold spec until that movie is confirmed. Well, the TV series is confirmed, so really excited uh, about this uh, announcement. Uh, everybody know Berserker number one. This is the second print foil, going for about seventy-five at the time. It was going one fifty, but things kind of slow down. But yeah, it's a pretty cool cover. Not bad read. Uh, I can see how it can be adapted to a movie with Keanu Reeves. Uh, you know, doing doing the PR. Why not? Um, this is one of the 50, I forgot who's the artist was, but it's not a very easy to find variant uh, of She-Hulk. Um, so I just picked it up um, on an eBay for less than about, what, 30 bucks? So it's not bad. Just love the, uh, love this variant that is not easy to come by. Here's another speculation play going back again. I remember we talked about this on a 9.2 crew, um, how Wolverine and just end up being an X-23. So here's a Jimmy Hudson, the ultimate world, um, you know, Wolverine's son. This is the, uh, the metal claw. There's a bone claw. There's a many variants of this, uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a really high end copy. Um, so maybe down the line, get this thing graded, hopefully for a 9.6 or 9.8 on this, yeah. All right, so I'm sure everybody knows that about the deal with Sony and Marvel or Sony and Disney having a contract that said that a MCU will have um, not a full control, but they will do a multiple crossover with the characters that is revolved around Spider-Man. So. This is Amazing Spider-Man um, 37. This is the first full appearance, or you can say the first appearance of Norman Osborn as himself, not the Green Goblin. I think what they did was they introduced the Green Goblin, they just find out there was Norman Osborn, but this is him himself. And he is within, how, within the Marvel Universe, how he did Thunderbolts and like how diversify this character can be within uh, within that universe I figure why not pick that up as well for being him as a Norman Osborn not as a Green Goblin still a uh, decent uh, spec um, to play with 
So let's see what happens with this book here. Uh, grab the Transformer number one. This is one shot of Death of Optimus Prime. This is a wraparound, or you can see it. So you got all the homage to all the covers of the Transformer was done in the IDW. And um, yeah, it's this clear backboard and the 80 point is freaking fabulous. Uh, I wouldn't recommend anything lower than that. 56 or 60 is too, it's too flimsy. 80 is the one that you wanna get, but uh, the highlight for this is for me to show the front and the back side of the cover. It's a one under 25 uh, incentive variant. So really happy to grab a second copy of this. One was given to me by the Doom 143. So yeah, finally was able to get my copy of ASM 55, um, Patrick Gleason. This is a dirt print virgin, which you only can get it at his uh, website. I'm done. Um, the, the shipping takes too long and uh, just, I don't know, but yeah, the trifecta of this, the first, second, and the third print is done. All right, beginning of the video, I talked about how I tried many years to complete this trifecta. Well, here it is, the Ultimate Spider-Man number one. Um, I already got the first print uh, that's been heating up um, and I'm glad that I got this before I did. Uh, this is Dynamic Forge. This is a 5,000 copy print run covered down by Joe Quesada. Uh, really super happy to get this. Um, along, I also got this just for the cover clearly for itself. Conan the Barbarian. This is a Cardin Carnage Knives uh, covered down by Bill Sinkovic. So if you're a cover collector, uh, this is something you want to look into because this is a dope ass cover. All right, so another spec play here for long run, for long term. I keep saying long run, I don't know why, but this is New Mutant 100, first appearance of, um, what is that? Uh, Shadow Star, and along with the first group of uh, X-Force. So, you know, Deadpool's gonna be the MCU. Uh, you already kind of seen what Fox has done, you know, with the X-Force. Didn't do pan out very well, but I'm sure that MCU will do a hundred times better job introducing these characters. And, and Deadpool, as long as Deadpool is in the MCU, I'm sure you'll get some type of uh, X-Force um, feel to it. So yeah, anyway, got this. And right now it's slowly picking up in price so we'll see what happens in the future but yeah i had to get this and along with that my last book of this haul is ultimate spider-man number one this is one of the 100 uh variant uh white cover variant you can call it so that finishes my trifecta of this ultimate spider-man number one if you don't know about this ultimate spider-man this has the one of the longest tandem of a writer and artist in a Marvel history. One of the longest. I believe they did 160 issues together with Michael Bendis along with Mark Bagley. And as you know, towards the end, Peter Parker as a Spider-Man passes away and Miles Morales takes over the mantle of being the Spider-Man. So, yeah. With that said, uh, I guess the highlight of this this right here is that. Um, this right here, along with some spec play. And uh, what else is it? Uh, I guess I can just throw in this right here. So that will be it, guys, for my haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment below if this is your first time watching this haul video. Subscribe and push in the alert uh, as I have uh, once a month uh, comic talk show, a podcast. And I'm thinking about coming up with a different content, uh, being a lookout and I have not forgotten about one thing that I have promised about a year and a half ago uh, when I surpassed my 1000 subscribers. So that's coming up as well. I think I have enough books to come up with a great, really great prize. And uh, look forward to that guys and um, Thank you again for watching. Aloha, mahalos. Until next time, shoots.